welcome welcome back to my channel everybody i want to do a video where i explain to you how i detangle my hair um how i detangle my hair has really helped me retain a lot of length so first thing that i do is i finger detangle i separate the hairs and remove as many of the big knots as possible using my fingers i remove as much shed hair as possible if I come across a knot like I have here, I will isolate the knot and I will slowly but surely remove the hairs from the knot strand by strand. And usually the knot just comes apart. If I find that the knot is not coming apart after removing as much hair as possible from it, then I just take my hair clippers and just snip it off at the knot. But I find that most of my tangles are as a result of shed hair. So I am using my fingers to detangle and I will feel for them using my fingers, feel for the knots. I try to make sure that I've done quite a bit of finger detangling before I proceed on to using a tool or a comb. So after finger detangling, I will put in my leave-in conditioner or my leave-in whatever style I'm using. But in this case, I'm going to be using the Auntie Jackie's leave-in conditioner. And I apply it to the entire section. So I have kept my hair in my normal six sections. It's easier for me to do it this way. I have better control over the detangling process. So this is also when I do my major detangling. So I don't do my detangling with the deep conditioner. I don't do my detangling in the shower. I do my major detangling at this stage. So after applying my leave-in conditioner I will further split that section into two separate sections and work in those smaller sections and I will proceed to use my comb I use an afro comb to detangle um, I don't use any other combs to detangle and you'll see that I start detangling from the ends of my hair and slowly move my way up through the hair all the way to my roots so I don't start my detangling from the roots and move my way down I don't start detangling in the middle first I detangle the ends first and then slowly move my way up to the roots if I come across any tangles at this stage I will stop and I will use my fingers to detangle the knot or try to remove the knot. I also like to remove any hairs or shed hairs that are stuck to my fingers or in the comb. I don't want to risk the hair, um, the shed hairs that have come out getting retangled or finding themselves back in the hair that I've detangled because they will potentially cause more tangles. So I'm just sealing now with my unrefined shea butter. I will then move on to the next section and repeat the process. Uh, one of the things that I think is very important is I, I don't like to detangle my hair under a time crunch um, because I want to do this very gently. Um, I need to make sure that I am not feeling any pressure to hurry up and finish. Again, you will see I'm using my comb, I'm starting from the ends, and I am gently moving my way up in um, up the hair. 
I'm very, very gentle with this. Incredibly, incredibly gentle. Um, I don't want to be ripping out my hair due to any tangles that may be in the hair. Um, yeah, I just, I, you have to be very, very, very gentle. Um, I'm not sure if you can see how gentle I am, but uh, it is, I'm being very, very, very gen gentle. I don't want my hair snagging off um, at any stage because that's just breakage. That is just going to cause breakage and that's going to limit my ability to retain as much length as possible. Look, breakage is something that um, some breakage is, is something that you can't avoid. They will, you will always have some breakage, but you can at least try and minimize that by um, being gentle, especially during your detangling process. So also, I don't detangle my hair when it's wet. It's just too weak, and I don't detangle my hair when it's completely dry. So I detangle my hair in a damp state. And then I just twist that section back up. This is the process that I follow across all my sections. I will repeat the exact same um, process that I've just shown you. And you can see after I've twisted it up, you can see how moisturized and how smooth it's looking. So this is my hair all done. Please don't mind the white parts that is um, the shea butter. So thank you guys for watching. See you guys in another video. Bye.